What's up everyone? We are here at our new shop and I just happen to have my car in here because tomorrow I'm actually taking the time to go drifting of just having fun with some homies, right? And uh, Shred, so I'll be out there with my IS. Ming's gonna be out there with his IS. Uh, Danny just picked up an IS. Should be a good day. 6.42 a.m. and I am on the way to the shop to meet up the rest of the boys so we can head on out to Apple Valley Speedway. My car is packed with tires and wheels. It smells like shit in here actually. What up? Hello. What up? Hello. What up? Hey, you guys heard? Yeah. Hey, Morning. the back door was unlocked. Shut up. New shop problems. <laughs> <laughs> I got jacked yet. All right, now we are officially on the way uh, after a pit stop at the shop. We pretty much had to collect some tools, collect our friends, meet up with Billy, uh, put some wheels in his Jeep. And now we are uh, on the road. I feel it. Oh shit. This is probably about the worst thing about Apple Valley. Why do we have to drive on dirt road? Why, Billy, why? <laughs> we made it. Made it. <laughs> hey, Chris, can I go with you?
end of our drifting for the day. I'm gonna say I had a lot of fun. Just stopped by my dad's place to drop off his cooler. Let's check these guys out. So Ray's gave me tire covers uh, for storage, but I thought it was a good idea to use them for after events because uh, I don't want the inside of my car to smell like burnt rubber. So yeah. But anyway, overall a lot of driving today and a lot of fun. Didn't get to do much tandem laps, but uh, yeah, it was good to get the driving out of my system. Uh, we're at this place called Freddy's. Yeah, these brakes, dude, they never made noise like this. She'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we're about to let her choose who's gonna pay, whether it's gonna be me or Ken. <laughs> Alright, can you choose one? Pick which one or Yeah, uh, I'll take whichever one. Alright, cool, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like I'm paying. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, free lunch. Alright, so I'm on my way back to the shop now to uh, clean up, drop off all the equipment. But I just wanted to mention that this car ran flawless all day in like 95 degree weather. And uh, I was actually running with AC at some point because it was just so hot out. And this car did not miss a beat. So that's a testament to how buff 1Js are or Toyota engines are. And not only that, but Link ECU, I have the excessive manufacturing uh, panic wire link ECU kit in this car that's powering the 1J in fact and check this out it's about 90 degrees outside I have all the windows closed because I'm running AC so that was the deciding factor for me for going with um, the excessive panic wire link ECU system in the first place was because I wanted to keep all the factory amenities like AC uh, no check engine lights and uh, pretty much everything is functioning as it would have come from factory. So, so nine months now I've been running this exact setup and it has never missed a beat. So I'm actually really happy about that. Uh, my exterior is actually pretty beat up because people keep crashing into me or messing up in front of me and I keep crashing into them. But that's not the point. The point is everything is working really good. Really happy about this car. Uh, and I can't wait to take it out to drive again. So, till next time. Look all that shit in the way? <laughs>